Hey guys, it's me, Shrek and H Ken Awesome, and doing Teen Titans Go Sucks to you again. Sorry if I couldn't upload any videos yesterday. I was busy with other stuff, and I'll try to do my review slash rant on World World and the Problem Solvers sooner or later, possibly tonight or whatever, and other stuff. I'll review on other stuff as well. So thank you so much for being patient. You guys are awesome. Yes, I'm doing another Spongebob review slash rant. But this time it's on Don't Look Now. So yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, enjoy. Today I am going to do a review slash rant on Don't Look Now. So basically what the plot is, Spongebob and Patrick are at the movie feeders. They are going to go see a horror movie. <sniffs> and Squidward comes along and he says, What are you two numbskulls doing? And Spongebob and Patrick are like, We're going to go see a horror film. And we're, cause we're grown up men. Yeah, right. After Squid Baby? Yeah, right, Spongebob and Patrick. Yeah, right. I say bullcrap, you guys are uh, act like kids still. Yeah, I say bullcrap, SpongeBob and Patrick. And Squidward says boo, and obviously that made SpongeBob and Patrick scared and act like little kids rather than grown up men. That was very good, Squidward. That was very good. They deserved it for. Tormenting you. And yeah. <sighs> they got into the movie feeders. Well. <clears throat> inside. And. Up, to, up the big. And. For the, to watch the movie on the big screen. And they. And everything became dark. And the movie feeder guy was like, take your seats, and Spongebob and Patrick obviously freaked out. You know what? This episode is a rip-off of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Except Courage the Cowardly Dog was done very well. This was done terribly, and, and it's a cheap knockoff of Courage the Cowardly Dog, this episode at least. They watch a horror film with fishermen, and they freaked out, and they watched it so many times, and yeah. But yet, they are scared and big crybabies. <clears throat> and then the movie theater closed, and they ran out, and yet they see fishermen, and they are scared of the fishermen. Oh my god. They are scared of the fishermen? Pfft. Ha! How stupid is that? That's like... That's like a lion is scared of a zebra hunting and killing a zebra. That's like saying a lion is scared of hunting and killing a zebra. Because they think that... Z because one lion think that zebras are big strong and powerful and could kill a lion well yet again zebras can can kick a, kill a lion with their hooves so I guess if a zebra could so I guess that a ze if a zebra kicked a lion's jaw it probably not it probably would have been broken and, or, furthermore, the lion probably would have died if the jaw was broken and it's, it's in, and it, it can't drink or eat anymore because of that. <sighs> or, or, that's like saying a woman is scared of having makeup. That's Stupid. That's like saying a woman is scared of having makeup as well. Like, 
SpongeBob and Patrick are scared of fishermen? That's stupid. They didn't even explain why. And Patrick's like, I don't. I don't like horror movies. I want we should we should have watched a cartoon instead. Patrick, what the hell? Yeah. <clears throat> SpongeBob and Patrick, you're too old for cartoons. Why can't you watch something? Why can't you watch something that's more uh mature for your age, like baseball? And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and, yeah. It comes to the point where Spongebob and Patrick are scared of fishermen non-stop. It easily annoyed Squidward. But Squidward's like, I'm going to torment Spongebob and Patrick for, for all of the harassment they have done to me. So yeah, Squidward takes out his fisherman costume and they go in and yeah, after when Spongebob and Patrick are asleep, yeah, after when Squidward took them, took them back home, because see, they're little chickens, yeah, they're little chickens, they're not grown up man. What they said earlier, Spongebob and Patrick, was a lie. Because obviously they're chickens. And yeah. <clears throat> and yeah. Squidward goes and dresses up as a fisherman. And he grabs a... And he grabs his fishing pool and he goes into Patrick's and he goes into Patrick's house and gets Patrick first and Patrick's freak Patrick freaks out knowing that it's a fisherman and yeah he goes into SpongeBob's house and warns that the fisherman's here and they both freak out Squidward listens to them freaking out, and Squidward's like, What a couple of hopeless babies. That, I have to agree. Hopeless babies is right. You know what? They're not only chickens, they're babies as well. That was well said, Squidward. Well said. Good job, Squidward. Good job. And so, Squidward goes into Spongebob's house, and yeah. He, he scares Spongebob and Patrick non-stop. Well, honest, honestly, that's what they deserve for harassing Squidward and tormenting him as well. Honestly, they deserve that. And when... Squidward's like, your days has come to an end. And Patrick and Spongebob's like, Patrick's like, I don't want to die in my underwear. And you know what they do? They change underwears. That's not funny, that's disgusting. That is literally disgusting! Changing underwears? What the hell is that? That's not funny. That's gross. And yeah. The fisherman was actually Squidward. And they freaked out. And they thought the fisherman was... Their arch nemesis, the fisherman, was eating Squidward. Which apparently Squidward was, was actually dressed as a fisherman so that he could scare them. And they give the fisherman a beat down. And yes, they beat up Squidward too. After Squidward was having a great time tormenting SpongeBob and Patrick, they he get he gets a torment after. That's really sad. Squidward doesn't deserve it. 
SpongeBob and Patrick deserved it because they keep on harassing him. And yeah, Squidward gets sent to the hospital, and the fisherman's and the fisherman's gone, and SpongeBob's like, "No need to thank us. We we are we only did what's best. What we we only did what's best for our bestest buddy." And then everything went fine until the fisherman just scares him, and yeah, and it was actually Gary and. Gary took a nap, and that's basically what the plot for the entire episode is. This is a stupid episode. And not only that, it's a rip-off of Courage the Cowardly Dog. SpongeBob and Patrick are... are SpongeBob and Patrick... Let's face it, SpongeBob and Patrick are Courage. And Squidward's like... Uses. Yeah, and the fear of fishermen didn't make any sense. That's like saying a lion is scared of a zebra, because one lion thinks zebras are more powerful and stronger than lions, because because of the herd. Well, and well, well, I understand that one. It, well, the lions were the zebra kicking the lion's skull or jaw. That's true, but at least it made sense. But because zebras usually do that, they usually win sometimes rather than lions. They usually win with the hook. And like saying a woman is scared of makeup because she doesn't like makeup. That's stupid. Women are supposed to do that. Women are supposed to do that. They are supposed to have makeup sometimes. <clears throat> and yeah. And Squidward did a really great job scaring Spongebob and Patrick because they deserved it after they harassed Squidward and tormented him so many times. I mean, I felt I felt a lot of sympathy for Squidward because of that. These numb skulls deserved it, Spongebob and Patrick, until at the end, it was Squidward that gets the torment, which that's not fair, cause Squidward was having a great time. And yeah, why does it always have to be Squidward to get the torment? And yeah, this base this episode is basically a rip off of Coach the Cowardly Dog, except in this episode, it's done terribly and. Awfully and awkwardly. Yeah. And it's my 19th worst Spongebob episode ever. And yes. At the end it is one of those Squidward Torment Festival. At the end. Yeah. <sighs> and Spongebob and Patrick changing underwears. Who the hell thought of that? That was gross and sickening. Oh my god. That's so disgusting and gross. <clears throat> and yeah. Everything about this episode... <clears throat> It was good at first because Squidward scares Spongebob and Patrick, but then later on it's Squidward who gets the torment and the punishment. And it turned out to be really stupid. And Spongebob and Patrick's fear of fishermen 
was very embarrassing. This episode was a huge embarrassment. Like, really. Because it's a ripoff of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Except in Courage the Cowardly Dog, it's done really well. This, however, was done terribly. Bottom line, this episode sucks. I give this episode a 0 out of 10 and don't watch it. Just watch a few minutes of Squidward tormenting Spongebob and Patrick and then turn it off at the end. <clears throat> yeah. And the humor didn't make any sense and neither did the jokes. Well, that was my review slash rant on Don't Look Now. This is Sh Shrek Ninja Canals, my 19th worst Spongebob episode ever. This is Shrek Ninja Canals, I'm doing Teen Titans Go Suck See You Again. I'll see you guys next time on my next video.